Hello, fellow flight nerds. This is Ben Johnson from FlightNerdAirForce.com. I wanted to take some time to discuss the issue of the difference between static stability on an aircraft and dynamic stability of an aircraft. Uh, this came up because we did a video recently about uh, the stability of an aircraft and uh, related to uh, the four forces of flight and how we get stability built into typical training aircraft. And I was encouraged to cover the topic of static versus dynamic stability in aircraft. Um, before I do that, before I get into it, I wanted to encourage you. I do have a video uh, on my website right now. I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Uh, it's called The 10 Most Powerful Tricks to Achieve Your Pilot's License Dreams and Share Your Flying Passion with Your Loved Ones, All Without Blowing Your Budget or Wrecking Your Relationships. If that's a topic that is interesting to you, how to get into aviation, how to enjoy aviation, how to make the most of aviation without it getting in the way of your family, your friends, and all that kind of stuff, uh, and having great success in it, I highly encourage you to head over there. The link to that will be below this video. So here we go. Positive uh, uh, static stability versus dynamic stability. Um, starting off with static stability. Static stability is just the tendency of the aircraft to return to the position it was from the beginning. Uh, when we talk about stability, we are talking about the tendency of the airplane to either, uh, if we deflect, let's just talk about putting uh, the nose up and the nose down. If we deflect the nose of the aircraft down, uh, if uh, will the plane tend to return the nose back up to the original straight and level position that it was in? Or will it have a tendency to keep the nose down once the nose has been pushed down? Or will it have the tendency to push the nose further and further and further down? Okay. So uh, when we talk about static stability, we're talking about, in a sense, a moment in time. And it's easiest for us to think about this uh, with this sort of a with this sort of a picture. Imagine we have a bowl and we put a ball inside this bowl. Now, uh, if we try to move this ball, we push it up the side of the bowl and we push it up higher up on the side of the bowl to have static, a positive static stability. Positive static stability means that our system here will try to return to its original place. So in this situation, this bowl shape represents positive static stability. We push the ball up the side of the bowl and the ball, because of gravity, will naturally have the tendency, it will naturally want to return back to its original place when it's all done, right? The ball starts in the center. Uh, when we push it up the hill, it will try and return to the place where it started. Uh, neutral static stability is more of a flat surface like this. Now imagine you have a flat surface and you've got a ball on that flat surface and you move that ball over to here and it's you push it over and you stop it right there if this is a genuinely a flat floor and a genuinely round ball what's going to happen to that ball that ball is going to stay exactly where you moved it to right uh, it is not going to return to the original place like uh, we had previously uh, and it's not going to roll any further if it genuinely is a flat floor and your ball is genuinely good and round it will stay exactly where you put it negative static stability would be more like an upside down bowl. Imagine if you had a ball and you put it on the top uh, of, the, of an upside down bowl like this. Uh, it, you're, you'd be lucky to keep that ball balanced on the top of that bowl. But if you began to push it just the tiniest little bit, what's going to happen to that ball? That ball, because of gravity, is going to roll down the hill. And as it rolls off the side of this upside down bowl, it will continue to pick up speed and actually go faster and faster away from where we put it. So negative static stability is the tendency of an object to uh, move further away from the original position that it was in when it's deflected. Once it's deflected, it goes further and further away. Uh, now we think about this in the sense of an aircraft. Positive static stability means that if we tip the nose of the aircraft up, we point, we deflect the nose of the aircraft up, uh, it will have a tendency to return to straight and level flight. Um, if we have neutral static stability, once we point the nose of the aircraft up from straight and level, 
it will actually stay the exact same number of degrees that we pointed the nose of the aircraft up. That is neutral static stability. Once we've moved it, it stays in the position that it came from. Negative static stability means that if we start in straight and level and we deflect the nose of the aircraft up, the aircraft naturally will continue to pull the nose up higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and almost at an accelerated rate. That is negative static stability, okay? Uh, now, what we need to do is talk about dynamic stability. And what we talk about dynamic stability is st the stability of the aircraft over time. So imagine we are flying along, and this is a bit of a timeline, and uh, we, again, we're flying straight and level, and we point the nose of the aircraft up. Uh, if we have positive dynamic stability, remember, positive is in, in the sense of stability is the tendency of the aircraft to return to its original state. In dynamic stability, the question is how does it do that over a period of time? With positive dynamic stability, we deflect the nose of the aircraft up and it has a tendency to want to return. So it actually starts to come back down, but as it gets back to where it would be in a neutral state again, it actually overshoots neutral and uh, it goes to nose low. And then it tries to come back and it overshoots. And then it tries to come back and overshoots. And it tries to come back and overshoots and overshoots and overshoots. But what we have in positive dynamic stability is that over time, the oscillations beyond neutral get smaller and smaller and smaller over time. This is the picture that we would have with a, a training aircraft that has uh, positive static stability and positive dynamic stability. The tendency of that aircraft, if we deflect the nose up, will be it'll go up and then down and up and down and up and down and up and down. But eventually it will flatten itself out and will return to its original neutral state. Uh, it's the tendency over time to return to its neutral state. Uh, neutral, neutral dynamic stability means that once we deflect the nose, it will come back uh, because it, it's still neutral dynamic stability still has uh, all three of these have positive, positive static stability. So all three of these dynamic examples are actually static, positive static stability. Okay. So we're applying positive static stability to new, uh, to dynamic stability. Um, and so what we have here is that it keeps trying in dynamic neutral dynamic stability it keeps trying to return to the neutral state but it overshoots and then it comes back and overshoots and comes back and overshoots and comes back and overshoots and what we end up with is that our oscillations remain the same my my handwriting here is not the greatest but the idea is that they remain the same uh and they, this, they're the same size oscillations above and below and they just keep doing this in a sense, they just do this forever. Uh, they, they oscillate the same amount, the same distance from neutral back and forth and back and forth. And it never really brings it all the way back to, uh, over a period of time, it does not bring it back to a neutral state. Negative dynamic stability then is the reality that once you've deflected the nose of the aircraft up, it tries to come back because it has, remember, it has positive static, so it does try to come back. But what happens is once it shoots past neutral, it actually starts to deflect bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. In a sense, what we end up having is an aircraft that gets easily further and further and further out of control over a period of time. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit of the dif difference between uh, positive, uh, between uh, static stability, the tendency to return back to the original state and then dynamic stability which is in a situation where we have an aircraft with positive static stability and we measure what happens over a period of time does that airplane tend to return uh to its original state does it stay the same or does it continue to oscillate bigger and bigger and bigger okay that is the difference between uh, positive uh, between static stability and dynamic stability in regards to flying aircraft and designing aircraft. Oh.
Thank you.